the insect range because I think I scared a lot of people off but just by the words uh, as soon as they hear spiders I think no I don't want a spider scarf but don't be frightened it's only a drawing and they're not real spiders so this is the purple and it's, it has become quite an abstract even though you can still make out that it is uh, purple that it is a spider as such but I just love the jewelly colors of um, spiders and insects and when you look at them close up there's just they're just absolutely beautiful. So purple and orange are just incredible together. You can wear this again so many ways and you have that lovely orange twirl of a band going on with this one. Uh, so I'll show you a few more of them and they have this gorgeous thing in the corner. Lots of lovely details. Purple is, don't be afraid of it. It's a great, great color. I love it. Great with black, great with navies, great with lots of colors. So that's, uh, I'll show you the rest of the insect range and maybe I should just rename it some other. This, uh, you've probably seen it on social media on Fabiana. It's an absolute gorgeous scarf as well. Greens and blues are incredible together. Again, forget that it's a picture or a beetle. With all of these squares, you, um, and they're a great scarf and silk is so warm and uh, it's cool in the summer. So, and remember that uh, these scarves are a thick silk. They're not uh, habitory in the thin crepe de chine. They're a good substantial thick um, silk. So that's that one, you know, it's beautiful blue. Blue is absolutely gorgeous and that blue and green. And once you have it on, you don't know it's a beetle. So just let go of the beetle idea and you can have just lovely colors the way that can be worn. Um, so that's those two. So you have your purple spider, which is the first one, then green beetle, which is this one here. Uh, again, I keep going back to the cowboy way because I'm so used to wearing them like that. And I think a lot of people are. So you would have it like that, or you could, uh, a lot of people wear them kind of looser like that inside a coat. And you have those lovely um, borders on them. But the blue is just fabulous and fabulous on so many uh, complexions. And I just don't go into believing that uh, one you're only restricted to one color because I think it depends on how you feel, what you're wearing. So this is the red purple uh, butterfly, which is, I suppose a butterfly is an insect as well, but uh, not as scary, I suppose, as the spider and the beetles. So this is the purple one. It also comes in a long version. So the square is very easy and handy to wear. Lovely border on that one. That one was really popular. Um, so everything I have is a limited edition as well. This is a butterfly circle. So it was started off with one or two butterflies and then there are lots more. And it has that beautiful red and purple border on it. So really nice scarf, wear it in so many ways. Again, with, with the square, put it into the triangle and then you have it. So a few more of those um, squares, the funky fly in green. Oh my God, this will brighten up anything. It's an amazing, amazing colors in it. Um, Olivia May have it in their London shop. So it is a fly. And it is quite funky, but just as I say, forget that it's a fly. It's not a real fly and there's amazing colours going on in there. There's blues, greens, greys, uh, really nice orangey blue. And once you have it on, nobody can see that it's a fly if that is bothering anybody, which I doubt if it is. But uh, really gorgeous on. Um, don't think you can't wear green. Just try these colours on colour coding and colour, um, I know people got the colours done years ago and they kind of think, no, I can't wear that. I think a lot of our complexions can wear lots of colours and um, so I think it, it just suits an awful lot of people. It depends again on your mood, what you're wearing it with, put on a bright lipstick, put on whatever and you just... Um, you can wear whatever you want. Depends. I find that it's more about mood than what um, mood and what color I need that day than what uh, you know 
thinking that all oh, only reds will suit me, only pinks, because I think we we can wear far more than we imagine. This one is very abstract, but again I called it pink spider because uh, there was a, a spider thing in the middle, but it's totally lost now in the abstract design. Uh, gorgeous pinky red border on this, uh, really nice on. Um, gorgeous with black and white, uh, white shirt, gorgeous with a navy coat, gorgeous with a cream coat, just brightens up anything, you know, and it's, it, you know, you can get the nice purples to the centre, roll it around and, you know, you can do it nice and neatly, but get those colours that you want to your neck and you have a lovely scarf. So I think that's the end of the la of the square ones. So this was another one that uh, is, it's also insect, but don't be scared. This is the pink fly, really gorgeous colours. Again, for the long ones, I would twirl them around so that you end up with an angular end. Get a nice piece to your neck, uh, nice and neat. And so then you end up, when you twirl it around and when you start with a corner, you end up with an angular end rather than the cut across. So you have some beautiful oranges, blues, greys in that one. Uh, again, with this pretzel thing, you can um, twist this part. Sometimes it works. And pull one of the this pieces through. Pull one of the pieces through the first time, that's what I should have done, and then pull another through. But it just, you have nice, you can pull it around and get, pull out whatever colours you really want. It's quite easy to do. Or just wear it the normal way, which is around like that, and pull up as many ties as you like. Really warm, silk is so warm, especially this thick silk. Um, it's literally as warm as well. So that's that one. That uh, this one as well. I just love the pink uh, fly. Also comes in grey. Now this one is called Green Beetle Walk. It is. There's no way that you can see that it's the beetles, but uh, anyway, we'll we won't worry about that. Again, I like had it as an angle. Um, so you can put it like that. You have it around, and you have something really cool gorgeous with a black coat or with um, a darker green or there's lovely fawns in there uh, it's beautiful with a fawny coat as well um, so that's that one and lovely you can pick it pull out some lovely angular features now there's a million ways you can wear those you could do it in a lovely tie uh, as well now the other one I have the last one of that insect range is another long one which is the pink which is the grey version of the pink funky fly. Same thing as the pink and absolutely gorgeous on. Uh, again, fold around the colours that you like. Like if you wanted those blues and oranges to your neck, just sort them out that way and just tie it up like that. You can use the, the finger rings, your ring and pull it up if you don't like the bows or you can tie it like you would a men's tie. Uh, make it as short or as long as you like, um, but an absolutely gorgeous scarf um, and again don't worry about the name and or what design it is if the colors are right for you just go with it there's a lot of um, free space on that too depending on what way you wear it you could have a lot of the plain gray out if you want it you know just play around with them and get it the way you want it okay so that's the insect range I also have um, some cushions with those insects.